So I think it's, a, it's an extremely exciting time in the world of migraine. We're putting all this focus and attention on all these new products coming out. But I, I believe it's really important we continue to have conversations with our patients about how their medication is working for them, especially when they're having an attack of migraine. One of the biggest risk factors for progression of episodic migraine to chronic migraine is having an acute medication that doesn't work well. This leads to more headache, frequency, more headache days, greater headache frequency, a bigger burden to the patient. So having that question of, I see that you're having this many migraines a month, and we have you on this particular medicine to take as needed for your migraine. How is it working? And if a patient says, it's okay, that's really when you want to delve. If they say, it's great, I'm happy, conversation finished. But if they're saying it's okay, which many times they will, I always tend to ask them, what do you mean by okay? Is it relieving your headache within the first few hours? And, and that will let you know if they feel it's taking too long, in which case you might want to start a conversation about non-oral options, because anytime we take a pill, we have to go through the gut. That takes a longer time, especially in patients who have migraine, that their gut is very slow. And during a migraine attack, it takes a lot longer for these pills to be digested and for them to be effective. Is it that they're catching it too late? Another reason you might want a faster option, but you also want to, might want to layer options in. So having a triptan with a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory and an anti-emetic so that they're working on different mechanisms and some of these medications can work on later mechanisms like non-steroidals, whereas triptans, you want to get them in earlier so you're reducing the overall burden of chemicals that are in the system early on in the aspect of migraine. So if a patient feels like it's not kicking in too early or they're taking it too late, we have conversations about non-orals, layering med options, and also why are you not taking it on time? Is it the medication leads to side effects like fatigue and you don't feel like you can take that medication when you're working or taking care of your family or you have to drive somewhere. We have this conversation a lot as migraine tends to be more often in women and a lot of times they have to pick up their children from school at a certain time and if they take their medication they feel that it sedates them and they're not comfortable driving. So they'll say, well, I wait even though I don't feel well. So we might talk about maybe at that point starting with an option that doesn't sedate them and adding in other layers when they're able to add in their medication or then trying other options that maybe don't have as many side effects. So for this reason, I think that looking for better acute options is important. That's why it's exciting that in the pipeline, there are newer medication options that are using different mechanisms. And these different mechanisms seem to come with less side effects of fatigue, concentration, and cognitive difficulties which I believe is a big reason people delay their treatment because many of the medicines we have tend to sedate patients. So these newer options might start to solve that I wait to take my medicine because I have side effects. And I think that's really exciting. So not everybody's gonna respond to everything, not everyone's gonna tolerate medications. So as we have newer and newer options, we're gonna be able to meet these needs.